Okay, I'm on my third attempt. I'm trying this this configuration now. It's a deeper bodied one. It also seems to fly or float right and track right, so we'll give this one a shot. It also casts pretty good. Can you see the propeller? It's hard to hear the little plopping sound unless you're right next to it. But it seems to be tracking through the water pretty darn good. It's doing everything it's supposed to do. Except catch a fish. I'll try to be quiet now. Maybe you can hear the plop sound. One nice thing that that's not happening is the whole lure is not spinning around and around and kinking up my line. That was really what I was concerned about. Damn, that was a good cast. I got one. Man, I hope you guys are seeing this. Homemade 3D printed whopper plopper. A micro plopper, I should say. I got me a little bass. Well, it's official now. This little lure actually works. Hallelujah. Well, I've gone through all the iterations of my little lures. I'm hoping you can see them here. This one actually worked. I found that the ones that I thought were optimum in size and shape didn't track as well or the little propeller would not spin correctly. These here with the wider top to bottom bodies they're the ones that actually track really, really good. They make the plopping sound. I caught the fish on this one here. This one here I'm trying. It's my last one. I actually brought five of them. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. This one and this one are working awesome. And the ones that I thought were going to work awesome, they need some more work. I think I'll take them back, redo the models on them to give them a longer body. I think the longer body gives them more stabilization as they go through the water. They don't actually spin around and around. I mean, the body doesn't spin around to kink my line, but it, it's not wide enough to hold it, you know, from, from torquing over just a bit and keeping the propeller from spinning. I'm at another location now. This is a spot where I've caught lots of bass before, mostly little ones. I plan on casting right into here. It seems like the water is up pretty good, man. I In my usual, usual spots, I can get to a lot easier, but the water is up. It rained a couple of days ago, so I don't know if that's the cause of it. It could be the damn global warming. Who knows? I'll just put the whammy on it. Oh, I just got a hit. Damn near took a dive, too. See if I can get him to bite. I know it's just a little one. Well, this seems to be the only lure of my arsenal of 3D printed whopper floppers that are actually doing any good for me. I think I picked up some debris on the way in. Nope. Still looks good. I'm definitely going to have to redo my CAD model. Give this body a little bit more width from top to bottom. I know it'll work now. I think I'm just in a place where there's not a lot of fish. Picked up some more debris. And I'd love to catch just one more before I head out for the day. There's so much grass and debris in here that I pick it up with every cast just about. I see now why the bodies of the 
store bought whopper poppers are shaped the way they are. They need to be like that in order to compensate for the torque that that little propeller puts on the lure.